Each culture has its own unique customs and interpretation about the ultimate greeting. However, most cultures would agree that the handshake is an important ritual and the most universal greeting in a professional setting. So in this lecture, we're going to talk about the final step to a great personal introduction, the handshake. A handshake is appropriate when greeting somebody, when finalizing negotiation, or when parting company. So because of this, it's really important to understand how to shake hands properly and also the etiquette that surrounds a good handshake during business interaction. The person who extends their hand first will have a distinct advantage. They will be seen as direct, taking initiative, and establishing control. And in the business world, these are all pluses. So because of this, if it's obvious that one person is higher ranking than the other person, the higher ranking person should be the person that initiates the handshake. And in Western culture, in a business setting, we don't take gender into consideration. So the man or the woman may initiate the handshake. A good handshake should consist of these steps. Extend your right hand with your thumb up and your fingers out. This lets the person's hand connect properly for a good handshake. Your hand should meet the other person's hand with full palm-to-palm -palm and web-to-web -web contact. Hands should be vertically parallel. Shoulders should be square to each other and at a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder stance. Lean into the handshake by moving your right foot slightly forward and bending your knees slightly. Shake hands firmly from the elbow, not the wrist. The wrist should never be in motion during a handshake. And your handshake must be firm in order to convey confidence and competence. Although the number of pumps will vary depending on culture, a range of about two to four pumps in a handshake will be considered to be the most universal. It shows confidence and sincerity. Some cultures, such as the US, tend to use fewer pumps, while other cultures, such as Canada, tend to use more pumps. So when you're doing business internationally, I would recommend using a universal handshake with about two to four pumps. Here are some handshakes to avoid. The bone crusher. Some people have no idea how strong their grip is. This is considered very aggressive and any aggressive handshake should always be avoided. The limp handshake. Sometimes we call this the dead fish. It gives a non-confident, wishy-washy impression and can leave a very weak impression. Another one to avoid is the fingertip squeeze. The fingertip squeeze is when you softly grasp the other person's fingertips only. This can be caused by cultural differences, a mistake, or lack of understanding on how to shake hands properly. It's not unusual for some Asian cultures to shake hands with fingertips. This is not unusual, so be aware of it. Or you may have been in a situation where you tried to shake hands with somebody but accidentally grabbed their fingertips only. This can happen when your thumb is curled rather than held straight up. In Western society, we prefer a web-to-web -web hand contact. And in Western society, the fingertip class may be perceived as lack of confidence. And women, as women, we are sometimes accused of having handshakes that are too soft. So as women, we really need to be especially cautious when shaking hands to ensure that we don't offer a soft, limp-wristed, or fingertip-only handshake. The power grip. The power grip is when someone grips with their hand on top, and in body language this indicates that the person perceives himself or herself as more important. A palm down handshake conveys that you're trying to get the upper hand, or you feel that you are more superior. A handshake should never be treated as an opportunity for you to show how aggressive or how powerful you are. Business handshakes should remain formal unless you've developed a social relationship with the person you're greeting. These next handshakes are more acceptable for social situations with friends and family. The two-handed clasp is when you cut both of your hands around another person's hand. A two-handed handshake is generally not appropriate for the workplace. And the reason for this is because it applies a certain degree of intimacy or emotion that would generally be reserved for personal situations. It may be considered too friendly or comforting in a business setting. And also in a business environment, it may be considered to be condescending as well. I would definitely reserve this handshake for friends and relatives. The elbow squeeze. We see this more often with men than we do with women or in mixed genders. However, this again is a form of handshake that's a little too friendly in a business setting. Unless of course you know the person really well and you know the other person considers you to be a friend outside of the office. In a business setting, it can also be considered invasive and in some situations may be interpreted as sexual harassment. So keep your non-shaking hand to yourself and avoid shaking hands while holding the other person's elbow or shoulder. It's just a little too friendly for business. Sometimes you may be in a situation where you're unable to shake hands with somebody. It could be because perhaps you have a bad cold 
or perhaps you are holding something and are unable to put it down, or maybe your hands are dirty at that particular moment. Whatever it is, it's really important to acknowledge the person, greet the person, and then apologize to them for not being able to shake hands. So an example of that might be if I was to say, oh, I'm so pleased to meet you. I Unfortunately, I'm not able to shake hands with you right now. I was just eating some hors d'oeuvres and my hands are a little greasy. I was just, sorry, I was just on my way to the washroom to wash them. If you're seated when somebody comes to greet you, always make sure you stand to greet that person and shake hands. And if you do stand, make sure that you don't just reach across the table to shake hands with them. Always make sure that if it's at all possible, you move around to their side of the table and greet them on that side. It's a good sign of respect.